Hey everybody, Spoonfed here, and today we're with Matrix Krypton, uh, another security distro. What we're gonna do is boot up the live environment. I'm not really sure if you can install these things. Um, it's always a, well, bit of a gamble, um, and a guess for me. But in essence, you don't really need to install uh, security distros but you want to have them in live environments so they don't mess with anything that's lying underneath matrix uh, I'm just gonna try that one I have no idea what the login is actually location failure matrix uh, right well that's login software is like sets sex it's better when it's free oh. not necessarily true but all right uh, uh, the interface is very awesome. You know what? We're gonna install it and then look at tools. You need at least two: one swap, one blank. Seven steps. Let's go. I did not find any free mount point. No. Second, yes. Uh, one well, free mount point. Let's see. Um, computer just. Well, this is that, but uh, I think the problem is that <clears throat> they cannot um, see my hard disk. That is that sucks. Is def SDA not in here? Well, def SDA is in here. Uh, let me try one thing. Right later. I uh, need that one. Uh, what we're gonna do is run up mount. Oh no. <clears throat> There's nothing in there. Okay, then mount def sda on there. Well, there is no files type in there. Um, oh, it was T is type. So, yeah, T. Uh, oh, of course, we need to do that. Um, left disk, left disk. Um, no, I know, but how do I do that again? Make FS dot X two. That was it. Ah, yeah. Two help. Holy crap. See if there's this partitioner in here. That's way, way easier. Accessories and this arsenal. So there's no. That sucks. No, there is G part. Is oh, thank God. Yes, def SDA unallocated space.
why won't you load new oh. device create British table and as DOS is default well then we'll stick with that one new uh, let's see let's keep free space following to 248 uh, Less than that. Right, that one can be there. I want this one to be smaller. Uh, sorry, two forty eight. Eight. All right. Add, and then we have an allocated other one that will be Linux swap. Add. Apply. Apply. A bit too bad that the other one couldn't handle this one, but so be it. All right. Close. Exit. Installer. Yes. Did not find any free mount point. No. Ah, no. uh, let's see what happens. Okay, now, um, mount T X two dev S D A on mount. Well, that end. All right, fine. New. Oh my God, we finally found one. Yes. All right. My God, it takes a lot of effort. Default locale is EN UTF 8. EN, uh, don't you have just EN underscore? Or is it an EN US underscore? Yes. Who am I? I'm a champion. Let's go. Yes. Wow, that took some steps. Uh, but we got there eventually. So right now, all right. So what you need to do is launch Gpart it here, make the partition, and then uh, load whichever uh, block you had. So in my case, it was SDA, and then the first partition is SDA one. So you have to mount that. Uh, otherwise, it won't show up in a disk installer it's a bit of an extra step but you know who cares who cares I actually understand why they had to do that because they wanted to make sure that it was compatible with like running alongside stuff maybe and they could not figure out uh, how to make the installer detect everything so yeah I really dig the uh, the layout and the style. Looks really awesome, really polished. Hope they have some good tools as well. Um, while as this is installing, uh, I will just pause the video and uh, we'll we'll continue when when this is done. <coughs> Pardon me. 
So, the installation was a success. Yes. Also, I like the name Krypton for something which has to do with the security destructs. It's a pretty awesome name, although I'm not sure where Matrix comes from, but who cares. Yes, I want to be... Well, I just got a text. Let's see. Now you know I'm not alone in the world. Please remove this and press enter to continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. see let's see what it does I did not see login screen actually so I have no idea I oh, will I will see by the name if what, what happened yes correctly log me in Awesome. Well, we have Genie. Main menu. Well, I think the star looks excellent. Let's see the arsenal. Yes. Okay, we have reconnaissance. So that's for <coughs> gathering information. Wait, Wireshark. Okay. We have TCP Slice. It's a new one. Uh, we have Dratus here as well. Dimitri is one I think. Chaos Reader. HD Track. That's for copying a whole website to offline. It's pretty cool. Scanning. Oh, we've got uh, loads of stuff. Cisco routers. Routing protocols. Web scanners. That's pretty cool. Batman tools. <laughs> what the hell is that? I have no idea what it is. <coughs> Ostinato is not something I knew. No, what is that? Oh, packet craft, the traffic generator. All right, cool. So it's like aircraft that does the same stuff. Oh, Mephisto. Mephisto wants to get into the probably into the bedroom. But my girl's still sleeping, so too bad. Gain access. Password crackers. We got some brute force ones. We've got some SQL. Um, well, we have something different here. We have BSQLBF, which is Blind SQL Injection Brute Forcer. Cool. What is this one? This one? Some do not have like handy little pop up tools. There's also Blind SQL Injector. This is SQL Injector Brute Forcer, I think, or something like that. SQL Injector Tool, SQL Map, SQL Ninja, and SQL SUS. Ah, it's open source my all right. This is for IP forty six to get some stuff out of that. It's not a lot done with that stuff, so that's pretty cool. Mac change and SIP cracks for uh digital telephony for VoIP. Uh, let's see, framework is usually uh Metasploit, but here they include all the frameworks. So also beef, W3F. AF, I mean, uh, social engineering toolkit, Guma, and fast track, <coughs> Shellstorm, Web Scarab is from uh, um, OWASP, Radio is for Bluetooth, some stuff to do, and to crack wireless networks, Digital Forensics, this is to get the image to analyze the image uh, well I've talked about tools for a, lot, uh, a bunch of times already a digital forensic framework actually so probably Metasploit but then for digital forensics and meta extractors to get stuff out of uh, office documents PDF and imaging and some the normal stuff as it were uh, some debuggers that's pretty cool um, Boomerang crash. This is, I think, a big one. Yeah, it's the op jump. 
Well, that's okay, that's cool. And that's fair. Nothing on that. Alright, well, miscellaneous. Got Burp Suite. Well, Burp Suite should actually be in. Yeah, what should it be in? Maybe Framework would be a good one. That's proxy. Yeah, okay, it's diff difficult to get in there somewhere. Stack Share, True Crypt, Pitbull, and some Tracers. Cool. And what is in the matrix help? <clears throat> oh, cool. You get an IRC channel. Like, oh, that's cool. But it's not a, a, able to connect. Does not have, no, it doesn't have connections. Uh, preferences. Yes. No wireless network phone. No, right, but um, eight zeros up and running, but it does not get a address or what unknown host all right yeah all right Stuff did not work. There's a problem with my virtual machine, or when you install Matrix, that the network stuff goes down the drain. Ah, no, not to worry. Those preferences. Fault connect. Not connected, why not? Yeah, this will be messed up to do. No, I won't bother with this right now. It doesn't matter. It should be fine on your computer as long as you don't use a virtual machine. So uh, this is Matrix Krypton uh, on all the tools on it. Uh, the style looks awesome. Um, the tools are actually very good. They're a good variety. Also, I like that this is clean. I think everything goes like back to here. So. You open up a browser, which doesn't work right now, but doesn't matter. Everything here is kept clean. You know, everything gets sucked down right here. Uh, last thing I want to do: system tools, no system preferences, display or monitors, monitors. Uh, Twelve. Yep. Apply. Keep this converge. Right, this is how it should look, and then this should be there. But all right, this is actually how it should look. And all in all, I like the style, I like the tools, uh, and think of using this one more often. Mm, I think it would be a very good thing to use actually um, to get some feel for the other tools that I don't know yet about don't yet know about uh, this is matrix scripton I uh, hope you enjoyed it or think about using it and otherwise I'll see you next time